To perform the SAM calibration, the first step is to turn on the SAM gauge. Turn on the SAM gauge with a long press of the power button. Zero the gauge by holding the menu button until test mode is aborted and PSI is displayed in the text line of the gauge. Then hold the zero button and the gauge will zero itself. Fill the unit weight bucket with water and attach the lid, tightening the opposing clamps at the same time until all six clamps are tensioned. Perch the bottom chamber of air using the petcock valves and filling bolt. Be sure to tilt the meter to get the last few bubbles out. Hold the menu button until the text line is flashing. Use the bottom two buttons to navigate until the text line is flashing callet in the text line of the gauge. Press the enter button and start will be flashing in the text line. Press the enter button two more times to begin the calibration and display the first set of test directions. The first set of test directions displayed is apply 14.5 PSI and press enter. Use the pump or cape to pressurize the top chamber to 14.5 PSI and press the enter button. The gauge will then check that the meter is pressurized to the correct pressure and display OK, too low, or too high. After displaying OK, the next set of test directions is displayed. Hold lever and then press enter. Hold the lever on the top of the chamber to equalize the pressure between the top and the bottom chambers. Continue to hold the lever down and press the enter button which will start a countdown. Continue to hold the lever down until the meter is done flashing read and flashes OK. The gauge will then display apply 30 PSI and press enter. Use the pump or the cape to pressurize the top chamber to 30 PSI and press the enter button. The gauge will then check that the meter is pressurized to the correct pressure and display OK, too low, or too high. After displaying OK, the next set of test directions is displayed. Hold lever, then press enter. Hold the lever on the top chamber to equalize the pressure between the top and bottom chambers. Continue to hold the lever down and do a short press of the enter button which will start a countdown. Continue to hold the lever down until the meter is done flashing read and flashes OK. The gauge will then display the next set of test directions. Apply 45 PSI and press enter. Use the pump or cape to pressurize the top chamber to 45 PSI and press the enter button. The gauge will then check the meter is pressurized to the correct pressure and display OK, too low, or too high. After displaying OK, the next set of test directions is displayed. Hold lever, press enter. Hold the lever on the top chamber to equalize the pressure between the top and bottom chambers. Continue to hold the lever down and press enter, which will start a countdown. Continue to hold the lever down until the meter is done flashing read and flashes OK. The gauge will then display the next set of test directions. Purge, add one can, and press enter. Open the pet cocks to relieve the pressure of the bottom chamber, keeping your hand over it to keep from spraying anyone. Then open all the clamp arms and remove the SAM lid from the unit weight bucket. Insert the Pro Cali can into the unit weight bucket against the side of the bucket where you'll be tilting the meter to purge the air. Attach the lid, tightening opposing clamps until all six clamps are tensioned. Purge the bottom chamber of air using the petcock valves and the filling bolt. Be sure to tilt the meter to get the last few bubbles out. At this point you want to be sure to relieve the pressure in the top chamber to below 14.5 psi. Press the enter button and the next set of test directions will be displayed. Apply 14.5 psi and press enter. Using the pump or the cape to pressurize the top chamber to 14.5 psi and press the enter button. The gauge will verify the value is correct and display either OK, too low, or too high. 
After displaying OK, the next set of test directions is displayed. Hold lever, then press enter. Hold the lever on the top chamber to equalize the pressure between the top and bottom chambers. Continue to hold the lever down and press the enter button which will start a countdown. Continue to hold the lever down until the meter is done flashing read and flashes OK. The gauge will now display SAM calibration done. Press enter to save or hold menu to abort. If you are sure that you've performed the SAM calibration correctly, press the enter button and it will save the calibration values and turn off the gauge. If you think for any reason that there's been an error while performing the SAM calibration, hold the menu button and abort the calibration without saving the values and try to run the calibration program again. The meter will shut off after you save the values. This is necessary to save it into the memory of the gauge.